It looks like I have one take and one take only. Man, that bullseye is tiny. I don't even know if the darts will stick. <laughs> There's a 25. Hey, 225's there. The Bulls Yan Ducker Darts Review begins right now. Hey, hey, what's up guys worldwide here? We got a fun video for you today. You saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. Obviously, we're gonna be taking a close-up look and reviewing the Bulls Yan Decker darts. And uh, you know what? I've been wanting to review these things for the longest time. However, being totally honest with you guys, I was just way too cheap to shell out the probably right around 60 US dollars that they would have cost me had I ordered them from somewhere like Dart Shopper. It would have been, yeah, right around $60 shipped to my house. So I think that's kind of expensive for such a basic set of dar uh, darts here. Straight barrel, twin ring grip. However, you guys know me, I'm always looking for the best deals out there, and I happened to find them on eBay right here in the United States, and I got them for $35 shipped, and check this out, even though they're used, they're still in perfect condition. However, they did come with 26 millimeter target storm points pre-installed, so heck of a deal there, I thought, and uh, yeah, like I said, pretty much perfect condition if you ask me. So yeah, I thought they'd make for a fun review. Now, like I said, they don't have packaging or anything like that. So we're just gonna hop into the stats and dimensions in the next clip. And after that, we'll take a close up look. I'll talk about the twin ring grip. And uh, after that, straight to the board. And we'll see how these things throw. While I'm throwing them, I'll give you a little bit of feedback on what I think of the Bulls Yan Decker darts. Here we go. Okay, there we go. A little closer look at the darts there. Come on, that's a great looking set of darts. Very basic, but I've said this time and time again, you don't need anything fancy in order to play world-class darts. Twin ring grip design, a little scallop here closest to the stem, but I guess we can start up front. The previous owner installed some black 26 millimeter target storm points on the back end. Everything's original here. We have our bulls grip polycarbonate stems, appears to be a medium length. And then on the very back end, have our standard size Ian Decker flight. The barrels themselves though, 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 50.4 millimeters long and the barrel width pretty much this entire length before the scallop, 6.4 millimeters wide. Now the match weighting on this pretty much blew me away. I wasn't really expecting that for whatever reason, but these were advertised as 22 grams. Match weighting almost perfect. First barrel went on the scale, 21.93, so a little bit light. The other two barrels, 21.94 grams. It's only one one hundredth of a gram off. I mean, come on, that's some excellent machinery, excellent match weighting, just attention to detail, attention to quality. Great set of barrels there. When, they, when the match weighting's one one hundredth of a gram off, you know you're dealing with a nice set of darts. Well, let's get a little bit closer look, and I'll talk about this twin ring grip a little bit, and I might punch out these flights. So uh, yeah, let's see if I'm gonna do that or not. Okay, there you go. Nice close-up look at the barrels there. And like I said, nothing fancy here at all. Just a basic twin ring grip with, you got that little scallop on the back end. And to be honest, I've thrown these a little bit and this scallop doesn't even come into play with me. So it uh, doesn't really make a difference for me. I'm pretty much gripping right in the middle of the barrel. Now, speaking of the grip, nothing sharp here at all. Twin ring grip is odd because sometimes you get a really super grippy dart and other times you don't. And I guess this barrel is the uh, other times you don't. So uh, I'd say probably a grip level, maybe like a two and a half. Not that grippy really at all. And uh, as you see there, they came pre-installed with a target storm point on this tapered barrel. And look at this guys, give these a little spin. Where is it? Right there, you see that groove or that, um, that gash, I guess you could call it. It looks like the previous owner didn't watch my video on how to install target storm points. What they did was they put the repointing tool, they clamped it down on this angled part. You don't want to go past this. You want to stay with the repointing tool right on this flat spot. And that way you won't end up bashing up your target storm points. So um, yeah, a little mistake there. Not a huge deal. You don't really, 
Oh, yeah, you actually do feel that. You can see the little groove right there. Yeah, so he kind of butchered those points, but nonetheless, still a nice set of ours. Can't wait to throw these things. At the back end, we've got the Bulls Grip Polycarbonate Stems. And you know what? Bulls, they come with some awesome, I guess, stem locks or stem rings, you can call them. Perfect candidate here for punching the flights. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll be back show you what that looks like. Okay, there we go. Huge improvement there now that the flights are punched. These hold on the stem so much better. I mean, those things are on there really good. I've got actually a popular video featuring my Mission Flight Punch, and I talk about punched flights. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's got quite a few views, but um, yeah, there we go. Punched flights on the Bulls and Decker darts. But there we go. We're going to throw these as is, just like you see them. And uh, we'll have a few turns on the board, and I'll tell you, or I'll let you guys know what I think about these darts. Can't wait to throw them, though. Should be fun. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's have a few throws here. I've been warming up for about five minutes. It's a great set of darts, don't get me wrong. However, you guys know me. If I'm going to recommend a set of twin ring grip darts, I do have my designer Dark Thunders here. I'll put actually, I'm going to put a side by side comparison picture up there. So the designer Dark Thunders, $30 shipped versus $60 shipped for the Decker darts. The choice is yours. These things feel identical in each and every way when you're throwing them. So, um, you know, if I was going to recommend a set of twin ring grip darts all day long with the design of Dark Thunders. You know, I'm always looking out for you guys. I just, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I mean, unless you're a huge fan of Decker, then by all means. But if you're just looking to try out a twin ring grip dart, then... Really hard to pass up on, hey, did that last dart go in? But yeah, really hard to pass up on the Dark Thunders. Such a great set of darts. And look at that grouping right here. Wow. And you know, I credit that grouping to these target storm points. It just has that um, clean transition from the point to the barrel. Who knows, maybe if I had a normal point in there, I would have hit the flight and deflected a little bit high on that last turn, so. Always recommend the target storm points, even though you don't really see a ton of professionals using them, but I think that probably has a lot to do with sponsorship, stuff like that. Man, they're throwing nice, though. If you see there, though, I pulled a couple darts into the five segment, and that's, again, that's just me with these standard size flights. I have to remind myself, just throw them gentle, because when I throw with my normal hard throw, they tend to drift left. I guess that's just me. But yeah, I'm gripping these things pretty much right in the middle of the barrel. I don't even know, like, I don't know why you would grip so far back where that scallop would come into play, but it doesn't, it has no bearing on my throw whatsoever. I don't feel it, but it's there. Yeah, these things are throwing nice. You know what, though? My middle finger is right on that storm point, and I just felt that that uh, ridge where he uh, kind of butchered them during the repointing process. So that's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to file that down, but I've got a little secret for you guys at the end of the video. These are going up on the auction block. I wanna give you guys the same deal that I got. But yeah, no issues how they throw. Although, I mean, like I said, they feel identical to these Design of Dark Thunders. Yeah, I mean, they're identical. Ooh, there we go. Third dart saver, even though it's not the same set of darts. We'll go 19s for this last turn with the Decker darts. Oh, right above it. <laughs> Close. Two right on the wire. Hey, well, there it is, guys. That was a few turns with the Decker Darts, one turn with the Dark Thunders. And uh, there you have it. But we do have two more clips for you. You know what's coming. We got the 180, then right after that, we have the close-up. And then um, stay tuned to the end of the video. If you're in the United States and you want these darts for the same price that I paid, all the details at the end of the video. Here we go. Enjoy the last two clips.
right in the middle. <laughs> Called my shot. Boom. Second dart, that third dart, or third dart in the middle. First dart over there, kind of on the right hand side. Where did I get that backwards? No, first dart, I did that all backwards. I'm so confused, haven't done videos for a while. First dart, I think, was in the left hand side. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review and close up look of the Bulls Yandecker darts. I know you guys enjoy a deal just like I do, so here's what I'm gonna do. If you're in the United States and you want these darts for the same exact price that I paid, $35 ship, hey, hit me up. I'll have my email down in the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, good is yours, just let me know. So uh, there it is, guys, um, pretty good video. We do have one more clip for you, the close-up. I think I got it in focus this time. So yeah, a little, uh, little close-up of the 180 there. And uh, I guess that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, yeah, hit me with a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later. Right in the middle. <laughs> Called my shot.